Greetings. I'm Suzanne Titkemeyer. I wrote for over 10 years, most of that 10 years with Pathios, a column called No Longer Quivering, about fundamentalist type religions. Now I'm living in Costa Rica and I'm loving it. There's so many different things that are so different here from the U.S. that one of the things that I'm doing is I'm trying to put together a comparison series, United States versus Costa Rica. So this is five ways that uh, pharmacies differ between Costa Rica and the United States. Most of it is more positive for here. Occasionally we run into something that's a little weird here that but I'm going to explain the five biggest differences. Okay, let's get started. Biggest thing number one, the difference. When you get a prescription in the U.S., you go to the pharmacy, and usually what happens, if it's pills, they put the pills in a nice bottle. I don't even have a U.S. prescription bottle to show you. They put the pills in a bottle. They put a label on the bottle telling you how often to take it, how often not to take it, and send you on your merry way with a nice little bottle. Not quite the same in Costa Rican pharmacies. Costa Rican pharmacies, everything, and I mean everything, comes in a blister pack. At first, I was really bent out of shape about that. It's like, oh, useless packaging, blah, blah, blah. But I've since come to realize this is actually a better way to go in a lot of ways. Why? Well, if you're taking a prescription, like this is my metformin. I take metformin every day to maintain my blood sugars at a really low level, below six, so I can keep on moving and grooving. You can count how many pills are missing, and if you know your prescription, you know when you take it, this can be very helpful if you're forgetful as forgetful and forgetful as I am. That could be the most helpful thing on the planet. The second most surprising thing that's a huge difference between the U.S. and, the, and Costa Rica and how they do their prescriptions is most drugs in Costa Rica are over the counter. They're OTC. Even things like metformina, metformin. I don't go in with a prescription. I don't have to go to the doctor. I just walk in there and say, uh, una caja metformino, por favor. One box of metformin, which will last me about two weeks. So there's that. Try that in your usual American pharmacy. You can't do that. You have to have a prescription for almost every single damn thing back behind that counter. Not in Costa Rica. Most of the things are over the counter. My, um, I'm even surprised at some of the things that are over-counter. This, Lyrica, over-the-counter. There are a few exceptions. Antibiotics are not over-the-counter any longer. They used to be. You also can't get things like uh, certain types of, of uh, mental health. Mental health medications are not over-the-counter. You have to have an actual prescription for it. And anything that's got a narcotic in it or is a Xanax type drug, got to have a prescription. Number three, you can buy as much or as little as you want. Recently, and sometimes I'll offer discounts here, recently with the Metformina, they had a special where you buy three boxes, you get four. I mean, you go a fourth one for free. And in the States, you would have had to buy whatever your prescription said, a week, two weeks at a time. For me, the four boxes would be two months worth. So I can say, okay, I want, the, I want, I want to buy the three boxes, tres caja, and get the one. Try that in the United States. You can't do it. They won't let you. They, you just have this tiny little amount. And whatever you get, that's what you get. And the thing with also with these pharmacies, this for me was instrumental because I used a nebulizer for my asthma. I came here and my asthma drug was not available, which was Zopinex. Zopinex is not here. I don't know why. Some drugs take a little longer to get here. 
So I was like, what am I going to try? I asked the doctor. I said, oh, I hate going through all these trials again to figure out which asthma drug works the best in my nebulizer for me for here. In the States, you would have had to get them to write. You would have had a, a doctor's visit with each prescription written. You would have had to buy a full box of the nebulizer vials, which can be really pricey, even with insurance. And keep trying them that way, unless your doctor, bless his soul, her soul, happened to have samples, which is rare. Here you can say, okay, I'll take one vial of this, a vial of that, a vial of that, a vial of that. And you don't have to have the doctor's permission. You just go in there and you do it. And that was how I picked out my new medicine rather than the crazy expensive trial and error it can be in the United States. So that's a big advantage to that. Say you're written a prescription for something you've heard bad things about, you think you may have a reaction to it. No big problem. Buy only one or two and try it. If the doctor tells you to try it. And if it works out, go back and get the whole damn box. Number four. This is the only negative I found contrasting pharmacies between the U.S. and Costa Rica. I'm going to show you these bad boys. Number four. Some of the medicines that the doctor might recommend here that you go to the pharmacy to get are not recommended in the U.S., so they're banned. I ran up on that recently when I had a hospitalization followed by a lot of doctor visits after I picked up a pesky infection. They gave me these. They're called Neomelubrina. These little white pills. Fortunately, I only took a couple. I looked up the drug because I'd never heard of it before, and I was getting ready to do a submission of costs to my insurer. And I discovered that this um, Neo Melubrina, I'm stumbling over it because I'm not familiar with it, is actually called. Mexican super aspirin or Mex Mexican aspirin. It's been banned in the U.S. since 1975. You can't get this. There's no way my insurance company will pay me back for this. Fortunately, it wasn't real expensive. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to actually toss it when I get out of this video because it has a side effect that every now and then it'll kill off all your white blood cells. It doesn't do that all the time. It's just one of those side effects that some people get. And God knows I get every side effect under the sun that you can think of a lot of times with these drugs. So if you run into one that you're unsure of, you could always Google it and find out exactly what it is, whether it's banned in the U.S., what the side effects are. Because they're not going to give, that's the other difference, it's, it's the sixth one, I guess. Um, they're not going to give you a lot of guidance on some of these things. They're going to write on there the label, you know, how often you take it, but they're not going to give you a lot of guidance other than that. They're not going to tell you side effects or any of that. You're going to have to research that yourself. So that's the low negative I can think of having to do with that. And um, just like in the U.S., you can walk into a pharmacy and say, hey, I've got a headache. What do you recommend? And the pharmacy, the pharmacist will make a recommendation and you can buy it while you're there. Okay, the biggest difference and to me this is the best difference particularly since we all know how crazy medicine has gotten in the united states the cost it's much cheaper in costa rica medicine is cheaper visits are cheaper the whole nine yards my uh, doctor's visits run me about with my copay used to run me in the states and then my insurance still reimburses me to 85 percent so you're going to have an immediate savings there but this is to me the big savings right here okay this is my lyrica this lyrica prescription that i'm on for nerve damage can run you like 900 to a thousand and twelve hundred dollars a month in the states if you don't have insurance here before of submitting it to insurance it runs about fifty dollars a month maybe a little more and the insurance still reimburses me to 85 percent so i recommend if you come here to have 
and international insurance. Make sure and see what your employer's insurance that you keep after retirement covers. Because some of them do have international codicils where they'll cover you. And the whole thing with the CR pharmacies of pharmacies in Costa Rica, it's just a step up. It's a step up in the game. It's so much better in most ways. And um, the cost to me, the cost of health care here is so much less. I'm just going to state this again for the people in the cheap seats in the back. So much cheaper. I recently had a hospitalization the end of February, the beginning of March. Where was the hospital for like four days? Between the first visit to my doctor's office where they gave me three bags of fluid and a thing to bring my fever down. My second visit where I had 104 fever a day and a half later. And the ambulance ride an hour away to a hospital that had a bed for me. My entire hospital bill and everything was $7,000, of which I'm getting 85% back from my insurer. In the States, I had girlfriends that the exact same thing happened to them that happened to me, except that they went to the ER and were seen right away instead of fluffing around with it like I did, where I was like, oh, I'll just see what I can do and see if I can bring this fever down. It's probably nothing. It was symptomless UTI. My girlfriend had it, I had it. We both went to the hospital on the same week. She went outpatient, I was inpatient. Her amount she has to pay out of pocket was $7,000. My entire bill was $7,000. And I'm getting most of that $7,000 back. Now I've got to make an ex a short, extreme rant here. And this is not so much to do with Costa Rica as it has to do with the pharmacy companies throughout the world. Feminine hygiene, anything. Oh my God, you guys that manufacture this stuff, please make the packaging not so stupid, okay? This is yeast infection cream, which if you're on antibiotics as long as I've had, this is your best friend. It's pink and white for girls, which mostly it's women catching this kind of thing. Well, only women. There's a pink butterfly and a woman emerging from the pink butterfly. I've seen boxes of this crap with flowers on it, all in pastel colors, pretty little pictures. Let me tell you something. When I want yeast infection cream or any other kind of thing that's going wrong with my lady parts, if you're going to put pictures on here, put pictures of flames, angry women with flamethrowers killing everything in their path. This is stupid. Don't do this, oh, so feminine, like it's a Mass and Gill commercial. It's just silly. I know that's my personal rant. But if I'm using something that I'm already angry about having to use and it's not in a pleasant condition, I think the box fit. Flames, girls with flamethrowers, angry women, dragons, skull and crossbones, whatever. Not some woman with butterfly rings wings emerging from her butt <laughs> that's all i'll be back next week with another comparison of costa rica and america the, the united states america is a term actually for north america central america and south america